What's up everyone? Welcome back. Welcome to my channel. My name is Harrison. This is The Den. Now, I really wanted to do another one of these. These are the epic rap battles or epic rap battles. I had a lot of people tell me that they're awesome, but the first one kind of flopped. So, but I did pick one from like eight years ago. I was just trying to pick something popular, but this one's probably pretty popular. This is Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. Not speaking anything political here. I'm just want to hear it because I'm sure it's funny. Both sides are laughable at points. That's it. So we're going to check this out. This is epic rap battle Trump versus Biden. <sighs> Let's get it. All right, guys. And I don't want this one to flop as much. All right. Cool. Let's hear it. Let's go. Man, this shit's about to be interesting. I know it. Let's go. It's the DJT getting it on. The Teflon Don on the White House lawn. Can't swim like you, I'll win a third time. Your campaign's like your family. Crash and burn. Including a oh. Grr. Man, the writers of this thing are messed up, dude. Oh my gosh. They get so personal on this. Biden's family literally crashed. Can't swim like you, I'll win a third time. Your campaign's like your family. Crash and burn. Take looting and violence will keep the MAGA movement quiet. <laughs> Is this me? That's a riot. Why'd you step behind the gym? I'll be stick. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, the the double on riot and looting. Also keep the maga movement quiet. Eh, is this me? That's a riot. Why'd you step behind the gym? I'll be standing by. See how tough you are against the 45. Uh, I should have hoped for your whole party. Bigger than the one I blew through because I'm Solomani. Uh, then I go and bone on Milani. Uh, I'm going to smash you, Joe. Like China. I got all the best club dish. <laughs> so, um, so I'm gonna, like China. When bone on Milani, uh, I'm gonna smash you, Joe. Like China. I've got all the best cognition with all the top grammar. I'm not a little girl's shoulders, so you can't touch this MC stammer. Oh mm, my gosh, y'all seen all the videos of Joe being creepy as hell, though, right? Him sniffing people and touching, touching little girls and other women's shoulder like that. That's funny. Stammer. I'm not a little girl's shoulders, so you can't touch this MC stammer. You're a disaster inciting hysteria. You say I'm selling hate in America, you're selling hate in America. Like with Hillary. Ooh. We're coming with a little bit of bars. You said I'm selling hate in America, you're selling hate in America. Ooh. You're a disaster inciting hysteria. You say I'm selling hate in America, you're selling hate in America. Like with Hillary, the people aren't swayed. Just Barack's shadow. And I don't really like the shade. Ooh. <laughs> Losing loved ones is something I have seen. So I know how you must have felt when they killed Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh man. They're hanging out in Florida, so. So I know how you must have felt when they killed Jeffrey Epstein. Ooh. Rap lyrics just ain't for you. You should stick love letters for Kim Jong un. You're a wrestling deal. Nothing about you's real. Bitch, you didn't even really write the art of the deal. But you tapped into the rage of red mad hatters. Well, let me tell you, Trump, all lies matter. Uh, I don't want to defund no police. All lies, man. Rage, red, mad hatters. Well, let me tell you, Trump, all lies, man. Uh, I don't want to defund no police. I picked a DA for my VP. I'm not a communist. I'm not a socialist. I'm just an old ass man with some decency. No matter what you try to say, global warming ain't catch. You pulled out a parachute. have pulled out a stormy day. I ain't Ooh. sleepy. I'm tired of you, Donald Trump. You're fine. My watch is tear gas from law enforcement. I'll keep America great. You'll unleash a Tifa and keep America like Portland. Ain't nothing gonna be me. No person, woman, man, camera, TV. TV. Oh, I saw him coming. TV. <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna be me. No person, woman, man, camera, TV. Eh, they impeached me. I still walked out of DC looking PG. You got the sloppy Joe, but no beef. The only way privilege I see are those teeth. Teach your son a thing or two about life. Like there's no hunting season for your dead brother's wife. You and your man. Oh my gosh. Yo, okay. But but for real, Joe's first little round there was trash. He didn't say he didn't say enough. He didn't say enough. Whoever's writing the, the rap script for Trump's person is taking some deadly shots. Some deadly shots. You can't do that. Yo, they already, I mean, they already ruined it. 
like right in the beginning because you cannot rap battle beef. You cannot go at someone's family. Like, I mean, I that, that's against the rules, man. You can't be doing that. Talking about the family crashing and burning in the beginning and then literally talking about his dead brother. So Joe's son, one of his sons, and then his other son messing around with his wife because that's like legit. Oh my God. Maybe teach your son a thing or two about life. Like there's no hunting season for your dead brother's wife. You and your mask and your Knight Rider shades are getting revoked like your Roe versus Wade. There's no blue way. Forget it, not coming. Like I tell criminals, Joe, stop running. Was Brianna Taylor running? Hmm? You dog whistling fool. I think your daddy would finally be proud of you. He was a racist asshole too. Ooh. Stotizio. What's this malarkey? Oh, you bug. Oh. <laughs> They pulled the Russian thing. Okay, okay, that whole that whole setup was slick. I'll give you that. That was slick. Stotizio. What's this malarkey? Oh, you bug. Keep at it and you'll end up in jail, jail huh? I'll take it down like a mule. And you're a mailbox from all your Ooh. bars to the Because <laughs> he's all hitting mailboxes. This is funny. That's funny. Keep at it and you'll end up in jail, huh? I'll take it down like a mule. And you're a mailbox from all your wives to the SATs. Everything you ever did, you just had to cheat. Because you're too insecure to even look like a loser. You're the worst damn Republican since Herbert Hoover. When you scooped up a sycophantic overvote loser. Remember came the Constitution's domestic abuser. 200,000 deaths lying at your door. And you think they're suckers like McCain in the Marine Corps. Sometimes I can't tell for which side you're rooting. Ooh, man. Yo, then this. Okay, okay. This one's definitely, this one amped it way up. Okay. Door. You think they're suckers like McCain in the Marine Corps. Sometimes I can't tell for which side you're rooting. When we go high, you go down on poo. Uh, truth oh. is, you're scared to lose. You got nothing in the bank that I owe you. You, 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 you whine about balance like a bitch. But the only thing that's rigged is taxes for the rent. Look, you're a freeloader. Change your name to Trump. My campaign grab enough. You can't get down a ramp. I'm pulling away faster than your wife's hand. For the love of democracy. Will you shut up, man? All right, all right, all right. I still personally think that the writer for Trump won, and I think it's only because they hit a little bit harder on that. I want to look in the comments. No one is talking about it. Uh, okay, literally no one so far. I'm halfway down the first page of the comments. Okay. Saw one person. I mean, no one's talking about anything. Okay, this is nothing that I want to be. All right, y'all suck. Y'all comment section suck over there because I was hoping for something funny and it was nothing but irrelevant things and abraham lincoln so anyways that one was funny i like it if y'all like these send me some more ones that you like so that i can check them out again the first one didn't do as good as i thought i still think the whole concept is really cool anyways thank you guys very much and as always stay blessed